How to set up memorized transactions or recording transactions in New QuickBooks Online. Where can I find this recording transaction stuff in New QuickBooks Online? So um, I'm on uh, QuickBooks Online. This is the new one. Uh, homepage. Uh, lo already logged in. So in order to locate recording transactions, you need to go to company gear. Right here, this is your gear. Click gear and recording transactions right here on the list so recording transactions and uh, so this is where you set up recording transactions that you want it uh, in this case let's say the first one I have, a, I have invoice I want the invoice uh, on a daily basis so you set up uh, your template name if you have uh, uh, more than one uh, recording invoice set up then you'll have to put uh, different template name if you want to take the same name uh, if you have more than one recording invoice uh, from the same customer so this, in this case I have Dale here and type is a reminder and you just fill out all these internal every day and you basically fill out the uh, invoice form and make it recurring uh, so, uh, so if you want to create a new one, you can just select what type of transaction type. The last is a bill. That's the uh, that's the one you enter bill to a vendor or non-posting type. So you have uh, all kinds of transaction type in here. So, so you want to select whatever you need. Let's say for invoice, you just you just uh, you take it to your invoice form, recording invoice form. And it's basically select whatever you want your template. It says Dale one, like that. Uh, so it has to be uh, different. Uh, you know, the basically your uh, template name is you just create your own name here. You can put anything you want, but uh, um, if there's more than one uh, recording type, then you have to create a separate template name here. So you can create, uh, let's say, Jimmy Smith. And uh, this is a uh, you can select type either it's a schedule reminder or on schedule. Let's say this is schedule one, and you want to do it, let's say on a monthly basis, first of every month. And uh, let's say you want to end this uh, in, in six or seven months, so you can say start date is uh, June one. And ending date is none because continuous one and so if you want some uh, advanced notice you can put in here and uh, the terms you can say net 30 uh, this is for invoice so you can say net 30 or or uh, if you put a discount term you can use it here so whatever it is it's net 30 and just select the uh, product so it's product B and you're gonna invoice for five hundred dollars. So like this interval is month, day, first every month. So this is continuous. And if it's after, then you will select after how many offers. So let's say seven. So it'd be June through January. So save template. So as you can see here, that the uh, the uh, the Jimmy Smith one here, right here every month. And next date is six one for five hundred dollars. It automatically create uh, uh, your recording transaction. So it could be from bill. Let's say bill this time. And let's say you want to pay somebody a uh, car loan. Let's say. Vendor, you're going to select us for the finance and in the account. Let's say automobile, let's say you pay hundred dollars every month, and you can select on first day every month. Let's say the start, let's zoom one again, and so buy. You can put, uh, let's say, your payment expires and uh. Uh, in July or August, 
Let's go ahead and read it. We'll see in December in this case. December 31st, like this. And uh, Charles will say, you want to, Do you want to see it? Do you want to play right away? So, as you can see here, so we created uh, uh, the car loan one here. This is the name you created, schedule. And you can do the same thing for journal entry if you are doing the uh, uh, depreciation expense. So here is your journal entry form. And uh, let's show you the see the uh, equipment. And uh, let's see the first one here. Start date is June 1. And I'll say, you want, you want 60 months right off, you put 60 there, and let's say a depreciation expense. Monthly depreciation is like, say, let's say $1,000, and the credit side is your accumulated depreciation account. Right here. So that will save you time. So the depreciation expense. So it will uh, start depreciating your fixed assets. You don't have to worry about it uh, for the next few months now. Uh, so basically that, that's it. And you can look at the reminder list here. It's, you can select only uh, certain Type here, create schedule, say bill, like this, create schedule. There's nothing there right now. And you can, uh, if you want, you can delete anytime you want, edit or delete. You know, let's say you want to delete this one, just delete it. So you ask, are you sure you want to delete it? What's history? It's gone. And if you want it, edit, you can edit. Let's say you want to build something different. Let's say you want to build 749.99 from, from now on. Just edit it. And same thing with expense here. Let's say uh, your uh, Verizon telephone expense went up a little bit. Let's say 150 bucks. That's the amount you want to make payment. Save template. You save it. So that's about it. Here is uh, your recording transactions. And uh, it's, it's very easy to set up. Uh, if you have any questions, please visit our website. It's newqbo.com forward slash ask newqbo.com forward slash ask like us subscribe us our new videos thank you